This video briefly explains how you can make content appear conditionally in generated documents using the Experido template design add-in for Microsoft Word. The idea is that a certain part of the document is shown if a certain condition is met, and that it's hidden if that condition isn't met. The template you see here contains a letter that is sent to congratulate a company on a certification achievement. It contains a paragraph that invites the company to an event. Now let's assume that this paragraph in this event is only relevant if the company you send the letter to is based out of the United States. So let's make this paragraph appear conditionally. All it takes are four simple steps. First, select a paragraph in question. Next, in the Dataset tab on the right, select the field you would like to use as a parameter in your condition. In this case, that's the Country Region field. Step 3. Hit the diamond icon in the command bar, which opens the Condition Settings wizard. And then finally, set the condition via the wizard. In this scenario, we want to check whether the value of the selected field used as text is equal to US. In that case, the selected paragraph will be shown, and otherwise it won't be visible. You can also update the name of the condition by clicking refresh or typing in the box at the top. You can now see the name of the condition appear in the canvas and also in the mapping tab. So let's go on and generate a preview to test our condition. You notice that the company the letter is created for has an address in the US, and therefore the paragraph is shown, as expected. Now let's do the negative test as well. If you change the condition to only show the paragraph for companies based out of the United Kingdom, then you'd expect the paragraph to be hidden. So let's quickly do that and preview. And there you are, the paragraph is omitted indeed. Experido supports all sorts of simple and more complex conditions that you can set either via the condition wizard or via expressions. You can apply conditions to a single character, to a word, to a mapping, to a table row, to an image, to a paragraph, to a larger block of text, to anything really.